Hi everybody, this is Matt, and the presentation for my cyber college today is on the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is a very complex, uh, almost venous-like uh, circulatory system within the body. It has both superficial and uh, deep-seated lymph glands throughout the body. Sometimes those two systems are connected and sometimes they are not. And it's very interesting that the lymph nodes uh, are basically in every vascular tissue of your body, uh, which is not very well known to most people. Uh, and it serves a, uh, an essential function as an absorbent. That is, it takes substances from those uh, vascular tissues around the body and has the ability at different points in time to uh, access and drain uh, fluids and those substances into the venous system of the body. And uh, in that point, uh, you're able to uh, process those substances however they need to be processed, sometimes through the intestines, uh, sometimes uh, through other mechanisms within the circulatory system to cleanse your body of uh, certain toxins. So anyways, uh, a picture's worth a thousand words, as they always say, and i like to thank uh, Sir Henry Gray for his marvelous work. And again, uh, please note, Sir Henry Gray only lived to be 34, and he produced these wonderful uh, works of anatomy in this uh, textbook. So anyways, here we go. I'll kind of flip through these. We start here with the uh, lymph system, and this is actually going down along the spine. I'll just give a couple of examples. But if you look closely at it, you're going to see really at the top, and I'll, maybe I'll just go with this one example, how the juncture, if we track all the way down and we get to the lymph nodes, which are right there, these are deep-seated lymph nodes along the spine. And you see how that flows upward along the spine? And then it's going to empty in to the juncture with the uh, inferior jugular vein into the blood system of the heart. I'll just go out again slowly. And you see there the lymph nodes grouping together. So essentially that is uh, how that works and there are lymph nodes throughout your body. There are lymph nodes along your head, your jaw, your neck. There's many at the back of your neck. Uh, under your arms and in your chest, the thoracic uh, lymph glands, deep within the abdomen and all the internal organs of your abdomen. And that's an incredibly complex vasculature and the variety of, of organ systems that are within your abdomen, in the groin area, down the legs, and uh, you want to uh, kind of understand that it plays a, a very important role in also fighting infection. Uh, sometimes you'll be able to feel, you go to the back of your neck and there's a lump there. Or uh, sometimes in your abdomen or under your arms. Those could be indications of inflammation, of infection. You don't want to ignore that. So uh, if you find those types of uh, symptoms, uh, that there's a lump, that could be a lymph node, it could be a, just a minor irritation of your skin that's going on in the area, or it could be something more serious. So it's, in general, something uh, to be aware of that your lymph system is playing an important role of protecting you uh, against some type of uh, infection or uh, abnormal uh, condition that's going on in your body. And they can do that by swelling and having more lymph fluid 
uh, and that is part of the whole uh, uh, protection system against uh, infection and disease. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's just a basic introduction. There is a lot of uh, more detail about the lymphatic system. Like I said, it's a very complex circulatory system. You could go into great detail about the different areas of the body and how uh, that circulation takes place and where it accesses the circulatory system, uh, the venous system of the body. But uh, if you want to do that, I would recommend that you go to Gray's Anatomy and look into it in more detail. But at least that gives you a head start. And, um, and that's it for today. Have a great day.